We will uh, get started with a question. Uh, we will play uh, a short game, or we will start with the, a game called. Do you know this game? So uh, actually, I don't have uh, lots of questions. I only have one question, and this is a one million dollar question. Okay. What is the question? Can uh, any one of you read the question, please? Jihan. How many languages are there worldwide? Yes, uh, we have the word. Uh, worldwide in uh, in red. Uh, what does it mean? In all the world. Yes, it means uh, all over the world. Okay. Now I would like you to guess. To guess. Using this expression here. What is this expression? <coughs> it, yes. Can you read it? Can you read it loudly? Off the top of my head. Oh, my head. Yes. This is an expression that we use when we guess. This is an expression that we use to guess something without thinking carefully. Uh, or based on the knowledge that we have. Is this clear? Yes. Yes. So, off the top of my head. For example, if you ask me, what is the capital of Egypt? I would say, if I don't know the exact answer, I can say off the top of my head, it's uh, whatever it is. So this is an expression that we use to guess an answer or to guess something. Now, based on the question that we have, we don't know the exact number of or the number of languages that we have worldwide. So I want you to guess, give me an exact uh, number or an approximate number. Yes. Let's start with you, Jihan. On the top of my head, there are 100 languages. Thank you so much. Worldwide. Yes, and we will see who is going to get the closest answer. Mahmoud, yes. Um, 119. 119 languages. Iman. Two hundred languages worldwide. Again, so we try to make a full sentence. Off the top of my head, I guess there are two hundred languages worldwide. So I want a sentence similar to this one. Melek or Melek. Off the top of my head, I would say it's about few thousand thousands languages. Good. So now let me give you some answers. Do you think there are sixty? Thousand languages worldwide? No. No. So why, Mahmoud? Huh? It seems like a a big a big number. So this is a big number. Do you think there are five hundred languages worldwide? Maybe. Could be. So how does it sound? Logic. Yes, it's a logical number. Do you think there are 7,000 languages? No. Yeah. Too much. Yes, I don't think there are 7,000 languages. And the last one, do you think there are 800,000 languages? No. <coughs> so the, the number is not logical. Again, it's unreasonable. So, uh, let me show you the uh, answer. There are 
7,000 languages worldwide. <laughs> so this uh, sound is for those who got the answer wrong. Oh, we are going to talk about uh, languages uh, today. Just let me write here some of the words that we have uh, learned. So here we have world, white, which means uh, all over the world. So this is the first one. And the second one, what is it? Something that we use to guess. What is the expression? Excellent. Double F of the top of my head. We use it when we want to guess something without thinking carefully. Is it clear? Can you guess now what our, our lesson is about today? Based on uh, the first question here that, uh, that I have uh, asked you. Can you guess what the lesson is about? Based on the question that I have asked you. About uh, language. About languages, yes. Very good. So we are going to talk about languages, that's in general, but specifically, we are going to focus on what language? English. So my question to you now is what? Why it is so important to learn English? Exactly, yes. So that's uh, the first question we are going to focus on today. Why is it so important to learn English? To learn language. Yes. Very good. I'm going to give you three minutes to answer this question. Three minutes starting from now. So it's now 426. It's now 426. Yes, Jen. Uh, English is the language of science, diplomacy, and international communication. Learning English increases your chance to find a job worldwide. Also, you can watch films without translation. Uh, most of the scientific papers are in English. Uh, also, as I, uh, I like very much traveling, uh, it will make it easy to communicate with people. Uh, even in uh, South Korea, I speak English. In, uh, everywhere you can speak English. Very good. So you said it is, it is used in many fields. We can watch movies without translations or we can say also without uh, subtitles. Very good. What, what else? Also, most of the scientific papers are in English. Very good. So, uh, in other words, uh, we use it for uh, scientific yes. uh, re research. Research and is in English, yes. Mm -hmm. And you can present your flower. Uh, also, you can it in English it is for chance to find a job for one. Excellent. To find. So, we can, we can uh, find sure. a good job. Excellent. Yes. Come on. English is the dominant language in several uh, fields like uh, science, uh, business, uh, job. So uh, the big companies use uh, this language as uh, a official language. Excellent. So English, we can say, has become a requirement in many fields. English has become a requirement in many fields. Uh, did you understand the meaning of uh, requirements? Yes. yes. very good. So we move on. We, we use this word. Many, yes, a lot. So it's, uh, you are familiar with this word. Iman, moving on to you. Mm -hmm. uh, of internet, uh, it's important uh, for uh, for uh, entertainment or uh, as well as work. Mm -hmm. uh, 
Yes, carry on. I think you are the language of the, the international communication is uh, enough to explain why uh, why uh, we should uh, learn English. Especially uh, in our job, uh, we need uh, uh, English plan from different uh, countries. Or not. For example, we have. Uh, we have project with uh, Actia China, so we can't speak uh, China English, so we use English. Chinese is English, so we use uh, English. Yes, so English uh, is our passport to the to the world, right? Yes. So English uh, opens up new oppor opportunities this is what you mean english is our passport to the world and it can open up new opportunities and we can say also new doors right mm -hmm. what else yes, whose turn is it now linda uh, to learn uh, english it's uh necessary to, uh, to communicate correctly, to, uh, uh, to understand, uh, understand uh, other. Yes. Uh, and uh, uh, it's important, it's important for uh, uh, my work to, to answer some, uh, some customer uh, in English. Mm -hmm. Excellent. So to communicate with customers from other can from other countries from foreign countries if you want yes very good that's all rehab rehab yes uh, I need to learn English because uh, I like uh, this language and um, uh, I need it in my job. In the meeting with some customer or uh, visits, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, to be able to uh, educate my uh, children. Excellent. Yes, in order to uh, revise, for example, your children's lessons and uh, follow them with their uh, education. That's a very good reason why we should improve our English. All of you have answered. You can uh, answer? Yes, so uh, the most important thing about the learning in English is dealing with uh, many business issues and uh, another side it's okay for the for many cultures one. So uh, it's important for me to have uh, one or uh, especially not that one, especially not English, but English and other language, language to, uh, to deal with the uh, person from, uh, from other uh, culture. And uh, now I'm going to uh, send you this link, this video. Listen to my question, please. You are going to watch this video, which is about people answer people answering this uh, question. The question is how learning English changed your life. So there are six people, six people who are going to answer this question. Watch the video and take notes because as you can see, the video is with a subtitle. Are you ready? How has learning English changed your life? Learning English has made a huge difference to my life because now I live and work in this country and I uh, use the language to communicate at work. Learning English has made a very big difference to my life because now every part of the world that I travel to I always find people I can talk to in English and it makes me feel very good and very confident. English has made a lot of difference in my life because I don't think without it I would be where I am right now. Learning English has given me a big opportunity to study abroad, to expand my knowledge, to know a lot of people and to, to change my career. 
I think one of the differences English makes to me is that I can now go to a cinema in every country to watch an English movie without subtitles. <laughs> well, English has improved my life in the sense that I've been able to go through my education, I've been able to secure employment, and I've been able to travel abroad and communicate to people with various backgrounds. And here I am in England because of English. So I'm going to send you now a uh, link and uh, I would like you to uh, write your answers in uh, the box so that we can gather all uh, the uh, information and all the ideas that you have taken from uh, the video and then uh, we will try to make uh, sentences. I don't like you to write full sentences, just uh, write the ideas without writing full sentences, okay? Is this question clear? Finished? So do you see now your answers here? Yeah. Yes. So these are your answers as uh, you can see. So let's make now uh, some uh, sentences based on uh, the answers that you have written down. So why do we need to learn English again? To change the job, to go to watch uh, movies without subtitles. Yes, this is one answer. Another one. To exchange idea. To exchange ideas. Yes. To study. To study abroad. To study abroad, excellent. What does it mean? What does the word abroad mean here? In another country. In another country, yes. So in a foreign country, not in Tunisia, but in another country. Yes, what else? Travel abroad. Always, oh, please always make a full sentence. I would like you to make a full sentence. We should learn English to, to feel confident. Excellent, because uh, it can help us be more confident. Yes, very good. What else? For example, we have here to secure employment. employment. Yes, so it means what? Let's explain this point. When I have good English, when I have a good level of English, I can secure my employment or I can secure employment. I can guarantee a certain degree of stability. Excellent, yes. So I can be consistent in my job and I can uh, guarantee this uh, uh, st stability. Very good, yes. What else? By learning English, we can uh, watch movies without uh, subtitles. Yes, in other words, I don't need, as we said earlier, the trans... The translation, yes. And I can uh, expand, what is this point here? I can expand the, uh, the knowledge. my knowledge. Repeat, listen to me. My knowledge. I can expand my knowledge. Exactly, yes. Okay, and uh, one of you said I can communicate with P people. Yes. And do you remember what the question is? Do you remember what the question is? Yes, uh, how uh, learning English uh, helped the people uh, in, uh, in their lives. At first, what did they say? English has made... A, lo a big difference. A big difference or a huge... A huge difference. A huge difference in my life. So here, huge means what? A big difference. A big difference, exactly, big. yes. So all of them. And the last one, the last one. Where does he live right now? Where does he live right now? In the US. Uh, in England. I am in England because of English. He is in England because, because of English. Because he speaks English very well. So as we said earlier, English can what? Can uh, make big a huge difference. It can open doors. Oh, doors. In other words, opportuni opportunities. Yes. Uh, I, I would like to correct uh, some uh, uh, mistakes in uh, the answers that you have uh, written down here. So here we have the words knowledge. How do we spell knowledge? K? 
N O W L D G E. The E after uh, after L is not correct. Uh, knowledge. This is how we write knowledge. It's not A as you can see here. It's a E. So this is the first one. What else can we uh, correct? Uh, travel abroad. How do we write or how do we spell abroad? A B A R R O D O A A D D. Very good. So we write. How, this is how we uh, spell it. We know people. That's okay. Huge. How do we spell huge? H U J H U G H U G A E. Yes. Very good. So to communicate with P. Well, uh, I think it was. It is just missing the the, the last. Yes, just a missing letter. Make 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 very me different. It makes me different. We say. It makes me uh, different. That's okay. So that's uh, that's fine. Yes. So is it clear with the first uh, question here? Let's move on now to another part of this uh, uh, lesson. Uh, we said earlier that English is uh, very important and uh, we need it in different fields. Uh, we need to find a good job. It has become a requirement and so on and so forth. But the problem is some students, some students, What is, what is he raising here? A flag. Yes, a white flag. That's a white flag. Yes, it means that he abandoned. Uh, has given up. given up. Yes, he has given up. He stopped doing something. Some people, some students, unfortunately, they give up learning English, right? Yes. Can you, can you tell me what these reasons are? Why do some people, some students uh, give up learning this language? Although, as we said earlier, it's a very important language. Let's talk about these reasons now. Thank you. After me, I don't, uh, I don't, I learned English uh, uh, earlier, but uh, actually I don't use it. So um, I don't find it's, um, um, it's the lesser language for me. So uh, I can't, I can't training uh, and, uh, and practicing if you, if you want, uh, uh, like, uh, I, like I used to do, but um, so I don't give up. But uh, it's, uh, it's hard to, to, to keep the, the, the same uh, average. The, the, same, uh, the same enthusiasm, you mean? Uh, yeah, enthusiasm and... Uh... To, to keep on uh, or to keep learning this, this language? Well, if you don't practice... The, the, um, the motivation will uh, decrease. Exactly, yes. So here, in this case, we should uh, always practice this this language let's talk about when you were high school students for example tell me about your experiences with this language were you good students were you average students or were you uh, low achievers so what kind of students were you a very good student yes, yes. In, I'm, I'm talking about english yeah, yeah, thank you. yes so here maybe your problem is the lack of practice maybe when you were in high school you were a very good student you got really good grades but then because of some uh, professional uh, commitments you uh, didn't have the opportunity exactly. to to practice this language this is one one reason other reasons now let's talk about uh, or let's check with uh, with others how about you guys it is a yeah. matter of time we don't have enough time to learn uh, english uh, we have uh, we have other priorities uh, are you talking about now or in uh, when uh, yes about now yes so maybe because you don't have uh, much free time 
Yes. Mm -hmm. But uh, as I told you yesterday, uh, I uh, revised uh, with my children and uh, that's I, uh, I revised uh, my English. Mm -hmm. Very good. Yes, uh, Imen Trabelsi? I will say the same thing uh, because uh, we don't practice uh, English. So uh, I, I, I don't, I will not uh, say that I give up, but uh, I have no time uh, to, to practice, uh, to learn, uh, to learn English. Yes. So all of you revolve around the problem of uh, uh, having time and uh, you have lots of uh, uh, commitments, you have probably uh, family commitments, professional uh, commitments and so on and so forth. Let's talk about uh, uh, high school students, secondary students. I'm talking about Tunisian people in general. Why do they give up on learning this language? What are the reasons? Because they were not good. The second language in Tunisia is French. French, so, yeah. Excellent. So this is another problem. Yes. So whose fault is this? Whose fault is this? Whose fault? Education system. Education the, system. Yes. So let's excellent. So let's talk about the education system of Tunisia. This is one of the reasons. Carry on. Talk now. Yes. Come on. So this is another answer, uh, another uh, reason, another one. Uh, we are, uh, we have a very uh, big uh, relation with uh, French. So uh, in our, our culture, yes. our, uh, excellent. In schools, what language do we use in scientific uh, subjects? French. French. So this is another reason why students probably uh, don't give importance to this language. All scientific subjects are in French. 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 Yeah. What else? Uh, uh, for example, what is the multiplying factor of uh, maths? For example, the coefficient. What is the multiplying factor of uh, maths and physics? Between two and four. It depends on uh, depends on the section. Yes, yes. ranging from uh, two to four, right? Two to four. Yes. So this is another prop. Reason. Another reason. Another problem. So what is it? Let's uh, summarize the idea. Proficient of English is one, I think. It's called the They're boring. The English teacher is always uh, absent. <laughs> <laughs> always absent. I say for For reason, uh, for uh, <laughs> it's not <laughs> the coefficient uh, co <laughs> of this um, of langu English language is not um, uh, big enough. <laughs> or is not high. High enough. Hi. Yes. So it's very. Hello, guys. Hi. Hi. Hello, this is, this is Reem. Good evening. Good evening, Mrs. Reem. I have I have a very big technical issue with my laptop. So finally, finally resolved it with my smartphone. I was listening to you guys. It's very nice discussion. And just now, um, I am really on with you. Okay. Thank you so much for joining us. You can uh, really uh, participate with us. We were talking about English in the first part. We discussed the importance of uh, learning English, and now we are uh, discussing the problems that students have uh, with with English and why they give up on uh, learning uh, this language, although it is important. Okay, so let's move on to another video, uh, and I'm going to share now the video. So, which is about keep this in mind. So this teacher in this video has a message. As usual, use a draft paper, please, and take notes. Use a draft paper and take notes. Learning English is a huge goal. Not many people reach that C1 level. Not many people reach that level of fluency that they want to have. 
As an online English teacher, I face many obstacles on my journey to helping as many learners as possible. My computer crashes. I forget my memory card. I get sick. My wife gets sick. And the key for me is overcoming these obstacles. As someone who is learning English, you're going to face obstacles too. You're going to have days when you don't feel like learning English. You're going to have days when you feel shy, days when you make mistakes, days when you watch TV shows and can't understand a single word. So know that you're going to make mistakes. Know that you're not going to have a perfect day. Know that there are going to be obstacles in your way and things that might stop you. But if you stay consistent with it, you do the right things and you keep progressing then you are a successful English learner. This is Jack from tofluency.com. Thank you for watching. Is the message clear? Mm-hmm. Yes, for me. Yes. So let's uh, uh, summarize this video. So this teacher, as we said earlier, has a message to convey what is this message what did he want us to keep in mind as english learners number one go back to your notes and try to answer the question what is the first one in the video you you should go yes so make a sentence. Keep in mind that what are we talking about? Keep in that uh, huge huge goal. What is a huge goal? Uh, Learn English. Learning English is it's a huge goal. Excellent. Yes, it means it's a it's it's a very big. Go, right? Go. Can you become a, a fluent speaker in one week? No. No. So, it's a... A big a goal. Big goal. Yes. It takes... Time. Time. So, keep in mind that it takes time to become a fluent, fluent. speaker. Yes. This is, this is a very good, uh, this is a very important point because some students or some of us uh, feel frustrated. They feel uh, uh, worn out. They feel uh, uncomfortable when it comes to learning this language. They give up uh, very quickly. Why? Because they don't have these points in uh, uh, their minds. So we have to keep in mind that English is a huge goal. It's not easy to become fluent uh, speakers in a very short period of time. So uh, uh, we have to keep this uh, uh, in mind. Other ideas from the video? I think uh, the guy talking about consistency and being perseverant. Yes. Uh, Can you give me like a piece of advice? What advice would you give me based on this note here? I think my advice to anyone uh, will be you should be perseverant. You should be take as a challenge. You should keep really working very hard. It doesn't came in one day. Very good. So we have to be perseverant. Perseverance. Yes. Very good. So we have to be determined, and we have to be. The word in the video is we have to be what? I forgot what what word that he used. You, you, you've just said it. You have to be con- uh, can you see the screen, by the way? Can you see the screen, by the way? No, I'm not seeing the screen. One sec, please. I think he's committed something like this. I'm trying to see. Uh, now, now, can you see the screen now? Consistent, Consistent which means? Uh, stable. Keep in mind. So the problem of some students is what? For example, one month, one month, they work hard. They uh, are excited about learning this language. They do their best to uh, improve themselves. This is one month. But their problem is that another month, they do nothing. They do nothing. So in order to become fluent speakers, like Reem, for example, if you want to say, 
and uh, we want to uh, speak English easily, we have to be consistent. We have to be stable. Okay, because as he said earlier, learning English is what? Huge goal. Is a huge goal, yes. I think that uh, you should not be shy when you talk and make the mistake. Excellent. So keep in mind, if you want to become a fluent speaker, keep in mind that you should overcome your shy shyness. Yes. Some students, they don't. They don't what, for example, in class? They, they don't want to speak. To speak. They don't want to participate. To raise their hands. To raise their hands and to participate in the... To make mistake. Because they don't want to make a... They worry. Excellent. They are worried about making mistakes. They are afraid of making mistakes. So keep in mind... Like, like me now. <laughs> like some of you, like many of us, unfortunately, many students are afraid of making mistakes. Mistakes. So what can we tell them? What can we tell them? Yesterday we talked about slogans. Do you remember? We talked about slogans in our lives. And we said that. I'm going to start with this word. Mistakes. When we make mistakes, is this something good or something bad? To make mistakes to learn. <laughs> so mistakes are the best teachers. It means... The more you make mistakes, what happens? The more you learn. you learn. The more you learn. The more you you learn. What happens? You make um, more mistakes. The more you make mistakes, the more you learn. The more you learn from these. Mistakes. These mistakes. You more you will be uh, fluent. Uh, so, the more probably fluent you be. The more fluent you will become. Yes, the more fluent you will become if you want to to say. So we don't have to be afraid of making mistakes. So please. Uh, keep in mind that mistakes, uh, as we said, are the best uh, t teachers. Yes. What else should we do based on your notes? Go back to your notes and try to make other examples. You will uh, find, uh, you will be uh, to uh, face two obstacles and you have to overcome them. Excellent. Yes. Uh, keep in mind that uh, the key, the key is uh, overcoming over coming these uh, ops obstacles the key the key the most important thing that you should do the key is overcoming these obstacles okay is it clear yeah Yes. yes. So this is something that we have to keep in mind when uh, uh, in the process of learning this language. Yes. Very good. Let me uh, give you another uh, end, uh, question now. It's another uh, start. This is an exercise to do. I would like uh, I would like you to uh, you have some uh, words here, and I would like you to uh, fill in the blanks or uh, match the words with the appropriate uh, definition. Did you get the question? So here we have some words. We have some words here. Okay. And here we have some definitions. 
the definitions of these words. Let's take an example. Huge. What is the uh, explanation or the very synonym? Big. It means very big. So I'm going to drag. I'm going to click on this answer and drag it here. Very big. Is the question now clear? Yes. I have sent you the link in the chat box. So please do the exercise and you will uh, uh, know if you got all the answers right or not. Uh, the best way is to start with the easy ones. Start with the easy ones and then uh, you will uh, find, you will do the others at the end. Uh, did you submit your answers? Yes, yes. And uh, did you uh, get them all correct? Yes. Uh, How many? Seven out of eight. Seven out of eight? Yes. So that's fine. Yes. What was your mistake? To go through and to overcome the last ones. Uh huh. Yes. Very good. How about the others? Yes, for me, nine or nine. Yes. Seven or nine. Seven out of nine. Seven out of nine. Okay, so let's correct now the question uh, together. Uh, abroad. In or to foreign country or country. Thank you so much. That's that's fine. Another one. Uh, Mahmoud. To go through. To go through. To undergo. To undergo what? Carry on. A difficult? A difficult period or experience. Or, uh, yes. Uh, uh, one of the speakers earlier said, uh, English helps me go through my education, right? This means that we uh, go through different problems. We go through different difficulties, through difficult periods and experiences. So here in this context, English helps us go through these difficult uh periods and experiences is it clear yes. yes to open up english opens up new opportunities it means to make available or possible yes so english makes these opportunities available or possible yes worldwide All over, the world. all over the world all over the world to overcome what do you usually do when you have a problem do you just stay there and uh, do nothing they're mm -hmm. dealing we with it, to to it excellent so you have to overcome these problems which means to succeed. succeed in dealing with to succeed in dealing with the problem or difficulty to boost if you want to boost your CV, what should you do? Learn English. So it means to improve. A requirement, as you said earlier. I think that needed or want. Very good. And the last one, stable, which means stable. consistent. That's Let's move on now to the last part of this uh, uh, lesson, which is how to improve our English. How to improve our English. This is the last part of this uh, uh, lesson. We must uh, always practice this Practice this language and to speak uh, English. But we will uh, explain more, but after uh, watching this, uh, the last video for this uh, lesson, which is about tips uh, to improve your English. Do you know this person? Here it is. Not yet. Ah, okay. Hmm. Joel, yes. Yeah, 
So, so uh, please, in this uh, uh, video, uh, both of them ha uh, are going to uh, give us some uh, pieces of advice on how to improve our English. So we're going to watch, as usual, please use the pen and uh, take notes. Please take notes while watching the video. Are you ready? Yeah. Yes. Hi, I'm Heather. Hi, I'm Joel. And we're here to talk to you about something very, very important uh, in Tunis. English. Uh, We've been... Mohamed Barsha. Barsha. I think it's Shongli. No, it isn't. Esma. Esma. We've been teaching English here in Tunis for a while now, and there's some things we've noticed about the uh, traditional Tunisian English student. In that, in class, you're taking your basic grammar, you're learning how to read and to write, but you're not getting a chance to practice and express yourself. Speaking, speaking, speaking. Mm -hmm. A lot of people, they can read complicated books, things that I don't even understand in English. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to speaking or expressing themselves, which is the most important part for a job or yeah. for uh, you know traveling or making friends, if you're going to study abroad, if you can't express yourself, <laughs> so what do you need to do in order to really become fluent? Like, okay, uh, I, I really, I really want to learn English. I want to learn. Okay. And, and then what? Well, the Tunisians are really good at language, even in English. Yes. <laughs> so you need to live the language. Go to pretend that in the class you're living in that country. So in an English class, we're living in an English-speaking country. Yeah, yeah, that's why. Right. Role play, for one. Role plays. Role play, uh, listening. 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 A lot, a lot of listening is essential. That's mm -hmm. the first thing. Um, and it's not just after listening and practicing, okay, have you fallen in love with the language yet? Fallen in love. Because you know, that's what it really takes. You need to fall in love with it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so sit with your friends in that coffee shop. Talk to them in English. If you don't use the language, you lose it. If you don't use it, you lose it. And so live that language and express yourself, and you'll get more and more comfortable. These smart people, these Tunisian guys, when they're speaking, but they're searching, searching for the word. But if you if you're always using it, it will be fresh, fresh, word, fresh stuff right yes. there in your mind, always ready to use it. And uh, I think that's the most important part. It is. I would say that is. All right. Thanks, Joel. Yeah, you're welcome. Is it clear? Yeah. Yeah, it's very clear. Yes. So let's now uh, exchange or uh, summarize the points that they have uh, mentioned. How to improve your English. Yes. What did they say? Uh, practice. To, pra uh, to, to practice and uh, more listening and more and listening. But can you give me can you give me as usual a full sentence so that's that will be uh, better. I think the guy uh, talked about leaving the language. When you leave the language, means they leave the culture. You fall in love with the language. Uh, you just do the role play, you listen too much, and you use it to not lose it. And really to be all the time fresh in your mind and find the words. I think I noted Ola. <laughs> Excuse me? What did you say at the end? Yeah, I say that, uh, first of all, leave the language means, uh, like the language means like the culture. Then you uh, play the role. Let's, let's go, let's go uh, point by point. So. Uh, one, one minute. Yeah. We, you said that, or they said uh, that we should leave 
the language. Let's together, together, let's uh, elaborate more on this idea. What do they mean by uh, leaving the language? Each one of you, I want each one of you to give me an idea now. Yes, let's start with you, Reem. Explain this idea more. I, uh, fr from, from my side, when I listen to leave the language, I think this has relationship with the culture. Means uh, really when I leave the language, I will see English people, American people, uh, people in Netherlands, what's their culture, and try to live and to use in, um, means how they use in their real life. This is what I understood from this. I don't know if it's true or not. Mm -hmm. So uh, you get exposed to the culture of that. Yeah. The people who use yeah, the language. That country, yes. Of the English speaking country, like uh, the United States of uh, America, for example, or uh, any other English speaking country. Yes, so you get. Okay, or Netherlands, or any people who are using the language really in the culture, because it's different really. Uh, guys, uh, do you have other ideas? How can we leave the language? Jihan. Practice. practice and express yourself. Pra uh, practice English every every day. This is one way to live to live the language. Yes. Speak English. Speak English with who? What did they say in the video? We should speak English with who? With uh, your uh, friends. With your friends. Family. family, your family. Uh, why not with your family? Where? Yeah, in real life, I think even in coffee shop, you know. So practice English every day, every where at any time. at any time. Yeah. <laughs> they told you in my in my bathroom. I was talking English that time. So we should also get immersed we should get immersed in this in this language we should get immersed in this uh, language we should leave it every day this is how we can improve our language let me give you some other things that we can do what is this phone mobile phone what language are you using yes. ah. Application. Excuse me? French. Yeah. So what should we do? Or what can we do? Uh, change, change the language. language. Change the language of what? Of, your, uh, of, phone. of our phones. What am I using now to give this uh, lesson? What am I do using? So change the language of our phones and of our compu computers. computers, social uh, media like face, mm -hmm. Facebook, uh, Instagram. So all of these Instagram. So when you, what happens when you change the language of these uh, uh, devices and of these uh, social networks? What happens? What can you how can this benefit us as English learners? More op opportunity to practice English. Yes, this is one way. And sometimes... When you write words, yes. they will be in English. They will be in English. Excellent, yes. You will learn new vo vocabulary. Yes, new vocabulary. exactly, yes. You know, you know, Riyadh and the guys, oh. even in the map. For example, we can... I think yeah. even in the maps, he's talking to you, talking to you in English, and when he tell you right and left and turn and like this, it's giving you really even the direction in English, it's very important. Exactly, so this is uh, another another thing, yes. Uh, for example, there is the application of Google Map, as you said, so uh, when it is uh, in English, you will uh, hear the directions in English. So this is another way to learn some uh, expressions, some uh, vocabulary that you will uh, or that you might need or use in the in the future, right? Yeah. Yes. 
So what else can we do? Listen, uh, look at me. What am I doing? What is this? We can do what? Yes, listen to what? To the accent of the person talking or the spelling. Or oh, English what? Native English, I think you will listen. Yes. By what? By listening to English songs, we can listen to uh, podcasts in in English of some native native speakers. We can also listen to English uh, songs every every day. What else can we do on Netflix, for example, or on YouTube? You will really read the subtitles, and this is very important taste to learn English. Excellent. So we can watch. Uh, Mo movies in uh, using sub subtitles. subtitles yes this what, what what i i advise riyad and you know uh, more than me is to start with uh, the short movies of 20 minutes like this mm -hmm. and you read all uh, and the same time you are reading the subtitles this is a tip that one you know english teacher in usa gave me yes he told me start by the 10 minutes Start by the 15 minutes, then 20, then you will be able to see a whole movie. Excellent. Yes, this is a very uh, good piece uh, of advice. Would you please repeat it to your friends? Yeah, exactly. Uh, see, guys, what I, I this tip I got from my English teacher at that time, because really I get bored when they give me, you know, a movie to see in English. And uh, I am not able to see the movie, you know, because I see the movie and I read the subtitles and it was very hard. So he told me just by small goals, start by these small goals of 10 minutes that are uh, like this movie, small, talking about the real life, 10 minutes, then 15, then 20 minutes, same time activate the subtitle and try to see, you know, the scene and same time you listen and read this has a very very big impact really it helped me so much so much to learn you know many new words mm -hmm. and uh, also you know understand them and uh, see also the movie and enjoy you know excellent yes so when you watch a movie with the subtitle you are doing two things number one you are listening you are listening and number two you are reading so you can improve your listening skill and your reading skill. Is it clear? But I think, Kim, I think you will be concentrated to reading. Yeah, it starts like this. I, I confirm, Jihan. As a first step, we need to do that. Which is better? Which is better? Let me ask you a question. Which is better? Understanding nothing about a movie or starting as a first step to watch a movie, listen to it, and read at the same time. Which is better? Exact. You know, you know, guys, I confirm. In the beginning, I, I found it boring. Even I took 10 minutes, I was only reading, listening and reading. But you know, after this, you become, you know, like it become like reflex. After this, like driving, when you start to drive in your car, you are seeing the dashboard, you are seeing, you know, the, the you know, everything in the dashboard, then it becomes reflex to you to not see and to drive. Mm -hmm. Then after this, I become enjoy. The, the, the real, the real uh, secret, the real tip in this is to set small, small goals, means 10 minutes like this, not, not more than this. Then you will start enjoy. The, so don't set big goals. You set small goals. And you do quick wins. When you do the quick wins, I advise you really to, you know, just uh, do a celebration, small celebration, even taking a coffee or take, you know, a cup of uh, ice cream. It will give a message to your uh, subsequent, you know, uh, you know, mind, uh, unconscious mind, and you will uh, go uh, and uh, make another small goal. After this, it will be so, so, you know, amazing experience. But really, you should repeat it, repeat it, as Riyadh said. Exactly, yes. So I agree with you. So it's going to be for a short period of time. <clears throat> this step is very uh, important and it's uh, necessary to be able to understand at least uh, a part of uh, the movie or some, uh, uh, some of it. Is it clear, guys? 
Uh, uh, so we have here another idea mentioned in the video, which is to fall in love. With... Fall in love with the language. Can you explain it? Jihan, uh, Fabit? Yes, to fall in love with to 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 like to love to love the the language to. Yeah. Why, why is it important to fall in love with the language? Why? Why do you think so? If you know, if you don't love the language, you will not uh, uh, motivate yeah, to learn it. To, uh, uh, you will not learn um, uh, learn learn it. Uh, so uh, uh, so good as good as you want, yeah. as well as you want. You will not, uh, if you don't love the language, you will not be able to learn it. Learn it as exactly as yes. fast as you want, as fast as you want, as, as fast as you want. Exactly, yes, Montes, yes. So that's why they mentioned and they uh, uh, highlighted the idea that we should uh, fall in love with this with this uh, language. Yes. Another idea or another uh, piece uh, of advice is do. Yeah, uh, please, one sec, for falling in love with the language, you know, my, my explanation for this, my personal one, is really when you fall in love with something or someone, you will sacrifice. And this is sacrificing the time, the energy. It's very important to learn the language. Mm -hmm. let's, let's do a role play, for example, now. Reem, yeah. suppose you were an English teacher, Okay, and uh, Linda, mm -hmm. can you hear me, Linda? Yes, yes. So, uh, so Reem, suppose you were an English teacher and Linda uh, was your student. So this is a role play. Now we are going to uh, do a role play. <laughs> so, uh, Linda, I would like you to uh, talk to your teacher and express uh, that the fact that you are not a good uh, English learner or you are not good at English and you would like Reem to give you some pieces of advice. So this is the situation, okay? Okay. Yes, you can start, uh, Linda. Uh, hi, Mrs. <laughs> I'm, Hello, uh, Linda. How are you, my dear? Uh, fine, thank you. Uh, I want to, uh, to, to, to talk to you uh, why I uh, need to learn English uh, because I mm -hmm. have, uh, I have uh, ten, uh, 10 years ago uh, I don't practice, uh, practice English uh, mm -hmm. uh, but I love this, uh, this language and I, uh, I need to uh, improve myself uh, in this, uh, in this uh, language. Uh, mm -hmm. Other, other uh, causes, uh, I don't have um, uh, many, many opportunity to, to, uh, to, practice, uh, to practice this, uh, this language. Can you can you give me please uh, some uh, pieces of uh, of advice? Yeah. Reem, you have one minute to give her uh, some pieces of advice. Go ahead. Okay, uh, Linda, I understand completely your need, and I know that you are someone who loves the challenge and work in a quality department, and this is very important to you to learn English. What I give you exactly is really listening and listening and listening. When you are in your car, when you are in with your kids, when you are in the kitchen, when you are cooking, just put something, some podcast, et cetera, in your mobile and uh, put your, you know, earphone and just listen. When you are listening, try to just repeat inside you without talking. Then start talking loudly, okay? And just try to see uh, some movies of 10, 15 minutes, you know, talking about the real life and try to see the subtitle uh, what i what i really want you to do is really to to try to talk to your kids and follow them and if you don't have time just do it in your car when you are in the traffic you know and try to use also the technical words of quality all in english i know that all your reports are in english and we're writing try to spell them even you are not spelling you know loudly 
and just try to talk. If you want to talk to me, for example, every day, 10 minutes, it will be a pleasure for me. And you are someone that I know that you are, uh, love the challenge, you are perseverant, you are committed, and you can do it. Excellent. Very good. So you see what we are doing now, or what we call right now, is a, a role play. Yes, we've done a role play now. It's very good. So this is a real life situation. And of course, since you are workmates, you can uh, seize this opportunity to practice English together. So this is uh, something that we can uh, do or you can do together. Uh, something else mentioned in the video, uh, Joel said, if you don't use it, you will lose it. You will lose it. Yes. Uh, here, grammatically speaking, let me explain something. He used if. If plus simple present. If you don't use it, the result is 100% the same. What happens if you don't use English? You lose it. So this is, that's why we should practice English on a daily uh, basis. So you can seize the opportunity of you working together and try to practice English uh, together as we said uh, earlier yes and do some uh, role plays as uh, we've done uh, uh, so far okay is it clear we have uh, less than two minutes left so we are going to uh, summarize or wrap up this uh, uh, session by uh, answering uh, one question what have we learned today summarize summarize the lesson in two or three sentences summarize the lesson in two or three sentences uh, we, we, listen, uh, we learned today how to improve your english uh, we can improve in, in, uh, our english by uh, practicing it uh, leaving uh, the language Fall in love with the language and do replace uh, role plays. That's enough, uh, Linda. Quickly, please, because we are running out of time. Yes. The, the, uh, we need to learn English uh, for many uh, for many reasons uh, yeah. to to communicate at work, to watch uh, movie uh, in English, to listen uh, a song in English. So, thank you so much. Reem, quickly, please. Uh, I learned today really the barriers to learn English, the tips to be fluent in English, and your new way also to learn English that I love so much. Excellent. Thank you so much for uh, being here today, and I hope that you have enjoyed this uh, uh, lesson.